Hi, I'm in Wanabo today. That's a beach community about 25 minutes away from Havana. It's really great. I show you in another video how to get here from Havana. It's, it's pretty easy to get here. In this video, I'm going to take you around Wanabo, show you some of the restaurants, bars, there's a disco, show you the beach especially. You get a good sense of what to expect. It's January. It's high season for tourists to come here. A lot of tourists from Europe and Canada. But if you come in the summer, it's going to be high seasons for Cubans themselves. The beach will be packed in the summer with Cubans. I show you in another video how it is. Anyways, I'm in my Casa Particular now. I just came back from the beach. It's nice refreshing the water. And we're going to go out now, take a look around the, the, the town, and I'll show you some of the attractions. Let's go. Wanabo is not a particularly large town. It's about 10 blocks by 10 blocks large, the main city core. And it kind of slopes down towards the ocean. The ocean's over there. You can see that Wanabo, like most parts of Cuba, has not really developed that much. The building behind me, it's in shambles. And you see a lot of buildings like that in Wanabo. But it's not surprising in a few years to come see, and it'll be completely built up. It'll be turned into a restaurant or a hotel or maybe somebody's own house. Now, if you come to Wanabo, it's always better to make plans ahead of time for accommodations. You can book a house, a casa particular, on the internet. But if you don't have one booked, just come anyways, and you can always book one when you're here. Just look for any house that has this little blue sign on the door. The blue sign means that it's a casa particular. Just ring the doorbell, somebody will pop out and offer you the house. You usually can get it for around $20 to $30 per night. And if they don't have vacancy, the owner will surely be able to help you to find another house which does have vacancy. So even if you don't have plans, just come to Wanabo and the plans sort of build on themselves. You find one owner, you talk to them, they'll hook you up with a house, at least you got a place to stay. Now let's go check out some restaurants. So this is basically downtown Wanabo. This is a, a little artisanal fair that they have. It's at the corner of 470 and 5th Avenue. Uh, this little place here that sells sausages. That's the beach, you see. So basically the beach is really close to Wanabo, I mean to downtown. It's basically one street away from the main road. You can see here in the uh, there's this many for rent signs, se alquila, se alquila. Those are all for rent. You just knock on the door and the owner will come and uh, you know you can rent it out if it's not already rented. This is the main street. This is one of the bars. It's a, like a disco at night. Tokyo. It's got a little theme going. It's not bad. There's a kalesh there. A little little pony ride. Little. Uh, carriage. See there's lots of restaurants around. This is a, there's a little plaza here with restaurants all over the place. There's a line. Most of them are closed now. It's still early. It's only around nine o'clock in the morning. And there's some games. There's inflatable games for kids. A trampoline there. Some more games. I mean it's not really action-packed now. As I said this is a, we're approaching the end of January. January 2015. It's not particularly a high season for, for tourists or for locals. It's not bad for tourists, but it's nothing too great. Plus it's the morning. At night it, it sort of picks up a little bit. The streets in Wanabo, you can see here, this is 470. They go up from 470 all the way. They're gonna extend the further east all the way into the 480s, 490s. But basically the main part of downtown is from around 470 to 480. Past that it gets into more residential area. I'll take another video a little bit uh, further east and we'll see uh, there's some other nice places. So now I'm at the corner of uh, 474. This is a nice little park. The, you can see the beach is right above that, uh, that little dune. Here's a commercial center. They, it's like a shopping area. They sell water and it's a grocery store too. This is a very popular bar, so right at the corner of 474 and 5th Avenue. Very popular bar. At night this place is packed. Uh, it's not really popular with locals to be honest with you, it's a tourist bar. Across the street they have a... It's a little pool kind of thing. You pay, I think it's 6 CUCs per person and you get to enjoy the pool and all the amenities. And then there's another park here pretty big with a bunch of food stands but generally this is it I mean you come to Wanabo not really for the nightlife or the atmosphere it's mostly for the beach to get out of Havana it's a nice place to come to
So you can check out the other video. I tell you how to get to uh, to Wanabo. And uh, if you need more information, there's a lot of information in my guide about Havana and Cuba, and Cuba in general and Wanabo. So uh, check out the guide, check out the website, check out some of the other videos. And if you're interested, download the guide. It's not very expensive and it gives you tons of great tips on how to experience Havana like a local and save a lot of money.